Today, we're going to take a look at a very common reporting challenge within ServiceNow, resource reports that compare planned hours to actual time spent. And we're going to do this in a way that doesn't require any code, any configuration to the ServiceNow instance, just using the native uh, capabilities and Explore Analytics cloud-based integrated reporting. So we're going to combine data from two different tables that are going to make this. The first is we're going to look at the planned side of the equation. Now depending on your instance and how you're tracking this, this might be in different areas, but for right now we're going to assume that you're tracking the planned hours on the resource allocation table. So we're going to create a chart that is resource hours by user. And I'm going to select a category chart so that we can break this down uh, by bar. And we're going to group this by the resource that this is for. And instead of showing the count here in the value fields, what we want to do is remove that by clicking the X. And then we're going to look at the sum of the allocated hours. That's going to show us all of the hours that have been planned by the user. So now I have this report that's showing by user resource how many hours have been allocated to them. So that covers the planned component. Now we want to take a look at the actual component. So I'm going to go to File, New View, and I'm going to create a second report against ServiceNow against the time card table where I'm tracking actuals. Again, this could be in the project or it could be in other places, but for right now we're going to look at the time cards against the resource hours. And I'm going to call that actual hours by user. And again, we're going to select the category as a bar chart. And we're going to group that by the user. Now, since I have a lot of users, I'm going to filter on the ones where the user's manager uh, is Fred Luddy, just so that we can line it up with um, the resource hours. And instead of counting them, I'm going to remove that again and bring the sum of the total hours. I'm going to call that actual hours. So now you can see for these users, I have the actual hours as computed from the time card. So now I have one report that has the resource hours, another report that have the actual hours. And all I have to do to bring that together is create a new mashup view called resource hours planned and actual and I select these two views that I've already created in the input names and it could be three or four but for the moment I have two resource hours and actual hours now as soon as I click OK it's going to bring together those two different sets of, uh, of information from those two different tables so you can see here that Elliot has 446 hours allocated, and in actuality we've used 368 of those. Now in addition to that, let's suppose I wanted to look past this and actually understand what the difference between those are. I can come in here and click this calculator icon and say the uh, variance is allocated hours minus actual hours. So you see it's just a simple formula that puts together the allocated minus the actual hours. And that gives me this third bar here. So I can see that if Alex is allocated for 524 hours and has spent 209 of those hours, then we have 315 hours left over. And now I can sort by the variance from largest to smallest. So who has the most time left over? You can see that Vishnu has the most, and then Rajesh, and then Sanjay. Now for all of these, this report, I can actually still drill through down to the, to the records that sit behind this, so the resource plans and the uh, time cards. And it's very easy for me to switch this to a horizontal bar or to show the values on that. So again, as the user, I can very easily look through that or just show the variance if I only wanted to see that. Now, once I have this, this is very easy to put on my ServiceNow dashboard. I just go to File and I say Publish. I can have this live or frozen, so either at the time that I'm preparing this or live so that it shows me the up to the moment uh, at the time I run this report. And I click Publish Now to say, put that on my ServiceNow dashboard. 
and I can adjust the width or the height. I can hide or show any of these you know, user interface components. And as soon as I click finish, I get a URL that's very easy for me to share. I can embed this into a SharePoint site or you know, a non-ServiceNow user interface. But if I switch over to my uh, ServiceNow dashboard, Right, so this is my you know, financial information and I want to add this new resource report to it. I click Explore Analytics and then I find my resource hours, planned in actual, and I add this to my dashboard. So just a few clicks, I've put together an actual versus planned uh, hours report. It's live. It's now on my dashboard. I can drill down to the details. I can pull it open full screen if I want to see it straight from my dashboard. And it's very easy for me to use this to act to make actionable decisions against my resource and actual times uh, for my team. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to find out more, you can go to the Explore Analytics website uh, or you can try a free 30-day trial and see how this works in your environment. Thank you very much.